A Sicilian starter followed by roast quail in a wine sauce and rice pudding with dried fruit. What sounds like a Michelin-starred restaurant dinner is actually a new generation of space food. This menu, a festive change from daily routine for ESA astronaut Thomas Reiter and his fellow crew members on board of the International Space Station, had been prepared in the gourmet laboratories of French chef Alain Ducasse. We wanted to give them a break from the routine, from their daily meals of freeze-dried food. So they're stored in aluminium tins. They keep their color and their texture. They look like something you would find on Earth. So the astronauts eating it are reminded of the food back on Earth. Food in space has certainly evolved since the early missions. Above all, it must supply each astronaut with the necessary daily intake of calories, vitamins and minerals necessary to cope with the special conditions of space and the higher physical burden. However, space food experts must also think of convenience in preparation, easy storage, microbiological safety and some other restrictions absent from kitchens on Earth. We really worked on it a lot, especially the question of water content, because in space any kind of humidity can be bad for the station. There's also the problem of crumbs. So everything has to be really worked out to fit in with the restrictions we had. So there's no bacteria, very little water. But we tried to cook things that we knew that we know how to prepare and fit in the restrictions we had. With no refrigerators or microwaves, what looks like a simple operation on Earth becomes a bit of a challenge up in space. All food must be transported from Earth, individually packaged and stowed for easy handling in microgravity. Packaged in rehydratable containers or thermostabilized cans, astronauts nowadays can be a bit more choosy kitchen consomme or pilaf rice, macaroni with cheese, and even delicious Mexican tortillas. Over time, space food also has become a bit more tasty. Condiments such as salt and pepper are also available, but only in a liquid form, as, if sprinkled, they would simply float away, with the risk of damaging equipment or getting stuck in an astronaut's eyes, mouth or nose. Spices are important also, because in microgravity, astronauts lose part of their palate and food will easily taste bland to them. All food is pre-cooked and processed, so it requires no refrigeration. And it's either ready to eat or can be prepared simply by adding water or by using the ISS special oven. The only exception are fresh fruit and vegetables, a real feast when available, just after arrival of the space shuttle or of an unmanned supply vessel. They prefer these kind of food, so they eat more food and have a better nutrient supply. Aside from the psychological effect, that sitting together and having a good meal together is really what people like. For the trio of astronauts living in the International Space Station, there is certainly nothing like a good meal to lift the spirits after a hard day's work. Food is really something which, which gives us a break. It's something where we find some, uh, some uh, joy and, and we, we are really trying to um, take some time for our meals. The higher quality special meals are not part of every day's menu, but save to celebrate special occasions, such as a completed spacewalk, Christmas Day and team handovers. But in space, there's always room for improvement. Of course we are enjoying this food, but we have no doubt that it would taste much better if we had, would have had also a very good wine to it. With the prospect one day of permanent living quarters in Mars or on the Moon, ESA engineers are already cooking up completely new concepts for food supply. These missions would be much more feasible if astronauts could, for instance, start breeding protein-rich algae on their base. As for the taste, it is at the moment less important a consideration.